Hello, welcome to Watercolor Week. I'm gonna start it off by talking about all the supplies I currently own, so let's get started. First off, paper. This is the Fabriano Studio Watercolor Paper. It's hot press, which means the texture is smooth. I bought it specifically for that because I don't like the texture of cold press paper. My moleskin sketchbook, it's just a regular sketchbook. I already had it when I started learning to watercolor and I wanted something to practice in. The paper isn't ideal for watercoloring, but since it's just for practice, that's all right. And I felt like I learned a lot just in the little that I've done in it so far. A cutting mat. It came with an X-Acto knife. I use it to cut down watercolor paper and I also use it to tape down smaller pieces when I'm painting. Now for the actual watercolor supplies. I put it all in this cute little Halloween theme box to keep track of it all. But I'm just gonna pull it up one at a time and show you. These are the first watercolors I ever bought. It's a Winsor & Newton Cotman 12 pan travel set. It also comes with this teeny little brush, but I don't really use it. I also got these Grunbacher paint tubes because the colors weren't in this set. That's what you see up here in these mixing palettes. This is a flower mixing palette. It's ceramic. Mine has this tiny little chip on it, but it still works fine despite that. Prismacolors. This is a basic 12 set that I bought a couple years ago. I use it to go on top of watercolors to give them more dimension and shading and the like. I also have these Prismacolors I bought separately for additional colors. This Higgins Black Calligraphy Ink for black and gray washes. Masking fluid or liquid frisket. This is from Grunbacher. Dr. P.H. Martin's Calligraphy Ink. This is in copper plate gold. It's nice for adding dimension and embellishments on watercolor paper. This adorable kitty washi tape that I use to tape down paintings. Sakura Pigma Micron pens. These are in sepia tone and come in four different sizes, including this brush pen. I think the sepia looks really nice with watercolor. Pento black brush pen and a Univall Signo white gel pen. This for liner and deep black and this for highlights. Now for my watercolor brushes. These two are Master's Touch, which is Hobby Lobby's brand. And these two are Windsor & Newton Cotman brand. I have a 3 8 flat brush, a round four brush, a fine detailer round zero brush, and then a round eight brush. I also have these acrylic brushes I got in a set from Michaels. I use them up for the ink and the uh, masking fluid so I don't ruin my nice watercolor brushes. I also have this Pentel Aquash brush. It has a chamber that you fill with water so you don't have to dip a brush in dip water. It's meant for traveling and stuff and I'm not very good at using it but hopefully I'll get more practice out of it this week. Now for the drawings that I do before I start painting, I have this HB pencil, graphite pencil, and then this Ticonderoga carmine red erasable pencil that I do for the sketches and the, draw the underdrawing. And then I have this Staedtler click pen for erasing. Then last but not least, this adorable Hello Kitty sharpener with a chamber for pencil shavings. I've had it since I was a kid. And a kneaded eraser, which is much needed for erasing pencil lines and even works on erasing Prismacolors if I need to. And that's it. That's all my watercolor supplies. I know not all of them are strictly watercolor, but I do use all of them when I am doing a watercolor painting. So hopefully you guys will get to see them all this upcoming week.
Thanks for watching. Bye.